Welcome to Arts and Culture. I'm sitting here with Alicia Edelweiss, based in Vienna, singer-songwriter. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Would you please introduce yourself for a second and tell us a little bit about your music, how you came to do that? Sure. Um, I'm Alicia Edelweiss. I'm, I was born and raised in Austria. My mom's from Britain, so I'm like a native speaker. I sing in English. I, I started playing music on the street in Barcelona, funnily enough. I started like busking there while I was traveling. And, and then I was just like tramping around and one day I came to Portugal and I started writing songs. And then I realized that that's what I want to do um, for the rest of my life. <laughs> and then I kind of returned to Austria because I realized it's kind of difficult uh, building up a career if you're a foreigner in a different country and in Portugal it was difficult because everyone was unemployed and it's like Austria is actually a cool place to be because it's so central and there's lots of countries around with different languages and you're, it, you're very quick and it's very uh, easy to get somewhere else. Yeah. You started your first album mm -hmm. in Portugal in uh, mm -hmm. 2012. Yeah. Um, it's I Should Have Been Overproduced. Mm -hmm. How did you came to do that in Portugal? Uh, yeah, so I kind of ended up there. Like I spent a lot of time in Spain and France before. And then I kind of settled down in Portugal because I loved it there so much. And, and I, ju I just met people who were really cool and they recorded my music with me. and. Mm, that's the story. <laughs> but yeah, it was because I, I'd been traveling so much, it was kind of easy because I had so much experiences to write about. And this album or EP, it's like half an album, it came out really fast because there was so much that had happened. You said you were traveling a lot mm -hmm. and um, you have the song When There Is No Home and it expresses <laughs> this search mm -hmm. or urge for home. Yeah. Um, did you also find happiness on your way to this? Um, yes, I, like for me, I think that I went off traveling without money and uh, I experienced all of these things. That was like, I think the most important decision I made in my life. And uh, I wouldn't have found to music if I hadn't done it. And, and back then I, I kind of felt like I'm gonna be on the road forever or something, but and I, I didn't want to go back to Austria, so I always felt like I didn't know where I belonged, but I was looking for something. But at some point, I did find a home, I guess. Like I kind of realized that, like when I I learned that my my soul is my home and I can be wherever I want. But now I, I like Austria kind of, and I'm happy to be here. You release the album When I'm Enlightened, mm -hmm. Everything is Better, yes. or Everything Will Be Better, yeah. <laughs> in September 2019, mm -hmm. so that's exactly a year ago. Yes. Did you find anything in that time that gave you that clarity or enlightenment? Um, yeah, I think I realized that also during Corona lockdown, I kind of realized that my time is one of the most precious things and I have to be more selfish with it. Like I was working a lot before and like always doing stuff and I kind of think because our society always tries to tell people even when they're stressed and they're working a lot, if you do this you can be happy and if you do this and if you do yoga every day and you eat healthy food and you um, all kinds of stuff then you can find inner peace but actually if you've got time like everything ca like you're chilled already like all you need is actually time to do nothing and to go for walks and like not be overworked all the time yeah and I think I'm like taking back my time so mm. time and culture maybe or music mm -hmm. fits together very well for you for yeah, an inspiration like, yeah if I if I've got time, I feel inspired again. Like, I can't get inspiration when I'm not, I don't have time to see the world or live. Like, you first have to live and then you can be an artist, but you can't just make art all the time out of nothing. 
Where is your favorite place to be inspired by? <laughs> nature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I love nature and traveling. I mean, like traveling, I think, is one of my most biggest inspirations. Mm -hmm. So sitting in a train? In or a train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really. <laughs> it's more like the things that happen while traveling, like okay. the people you meet and the adventures and the more adventurous it is, the more inspiring. <laughs> well, you already mentioned coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah, <laughs> well, can't talk about it without it right yeah. at the moment. <laughs> so the world seems to be a little mm -hmm. complicated and confusing mm -hmm. at the moment. And it's not only because of Corona, for, of mm -hmm. course, but definitely that. And well, do you see some kind of a change coming along mm -hmm. also in your art, for music? For yeah, I, I, feel, I feel a lot of change right now. I, for me personally, it's been very positive, but, but I also see, I mean, there's so much information out there and it seems confusing, but in the end you can't really know what's true and what isn't if you haven't been there and seen it. And I, for my part, I can only say about, talk about my life and the people around me. And I've seen a lot of positive change here, like values are shifting kind mm -hmm. of. And, but, yeah, and Would you say time, that crisis, that, mm -hmm. that this crisis is changing mm -hmm. something in your music, or? Um, hmm. I think, hmm, the crisis, I, I haven't been, well, yeah, I, I guess it's the time thing again, I've got more time, mm -hmm. I, like just to do nothing and although I, I've been working a lot again like things are starting again the the rat race is <laughs> beginning again but um, I don't think it's changed my music a lot it's just like that I've kind of come down a bit and realized what's important and stuff yeah mm. this time like lockdown and social mm -hmm. distance is mm -hmm. changing society some kind of mm -hmm. a lot of musicians had to stop their art mm -hmm. And um, yeah, events were cancelled and yeah. all of that. How have you been doing the last weeks? <laughs> you already said you have more time yes. now, so. <laughs> I don't know, for me, everything's so positive. I can't complain. I don't know everything. I don't know why, but my life, it, it's worked really fine and perfect, actually. But um, I, I don't think all of the things that are happening are cool, like all of the restrictions or children aren't allowed to sing in school because of corona for instance why because of infecting um because apparently through singing <laughs> the, the virus can <laughs> spread more so i don't know but i feel um there's a lot of change happening but i i don't trust the media and i, I don't trust the government <laughs> and i, I think like people who didn't trust the government before shouldn't trust them now just because of the virus because there's so much fear around and I still don't believe that the government is necessarily acting in our interest. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. what could we do against that? Or you as mm. a musician? Yeah, l like during Corona, like I, there was one point when I thought, okay, like there's so much information, like there's like, I feel like the media or is trying to separate the people. Like, there's so much anger from one part to other people who don't care about the virus or those mm -hmm. who, who who really care. It's like split into yeah, right. Yeah, and and I I actually I try to avoid the subject talking with people because I don't want to judge anyone for anything and I don't want to. Um, I, we're all in this together, and I I don't want to amplify this splitting and and at one point I thought okay what can I do is it so important that I ex know what's true and I say this is my opinion and yeah I believe in this but in the end I thought I really don't know what's true and no one can know it like I don't know if the figures are right I, I mean it could be or it could not and and I'm just here to make music and bring light to the world. <laughs> and that's actually all that I can do to make a better place. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it doesn't affect your music, as you already said. But um, no, maybe. Hmm. Well, yeah, like if I would be full of fear, like I don't think I could make good music. So I tried to not you let try myself be influenced by that. <laughs> yeah. Leave it the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See. Mm. Yeah. Your music combines mm -hmm. very, what can I say? It's, it's heavy, but mm -hmm. at the same time very light. Mm -hmm. And um, the virus teaches us some kind of that we mm -hmm. are all vulnerable and moral. Yeah. So dead is, is in our society mm -hmm. at the moment. And um, other people have fear. Other musicians mm -hmm. maybe have fear. Mm -hmm. How do you think they could work together to carry this away to get over it? Hmm. <laughs> I really don't know, to be honest. Um, I mean, death, I, I don't think death is something to be, to be afraid of, actually. And I can't honestly feel, to me in Austria right now, it doesn't feel like death is everywhere right now and there's people dying everywhere. Th that's like, what the media says, Yeah, that's, right? <laughs> but I, I, I can't, I, I don't feel it, I don't know. I, haven't heard that much in the people I um, talk to or something. Like what I feel more is like little restaurants and clubs shutting down and people losing their jobs and stuff like that. That's much more present in reality actually, in my reality. So I guess I don't really know what to do. I guess solidarity with people who are being really affected by this and like talking with each other and not splitting <laughs> just because and accepting if someone has a different opinion and not like th this black and white thinking mm. that's happening right now that's mm. that's kind of the essence of art as i would say yeah. like combining different kinds of people together yeah. to be for one thing mm. avoiding this crisis or whatever it is so yeah. music and art could help in that which yeah you i think i think artists like the mission of artists is to like see the bigger picture and not like get too involved in this. And don't split up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like in the end, I, I'm very positive about the future. But yeah. You're very positive. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm really positive. <laughs> I don't know. I feel there's something, there's a lot of cool things happening as well. Mm. What would you say could make this world a little bit better? for people in Vienna or mm -hmm. Barcelona or everywhere around? Well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a hippie, so I think. <laughs> well, what I, for myself, have learned, um, especially this year, actually, that like, all kind of negativity always is rooted in self-hatred. And I think the best thing everyone can do is work on themselves and love themselves and accept themselves. And, and I think, fears are here to be faced and not to have and to overcome them. So the world was confusing even before coronavirus, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of things have changed or haven't they changed anything? Yeah, I, um, yeah I, I think the world before was also not like um, a better place than it is now. And like I remember shortly before Corona, I think one week before lockdown, like I was touring a lot with my other band Rudo Jürgens, and in which I don't play anymore, but I used to play. And um, and we just had a tour, like an 11 day tour with, with nonstop. And I, I had like, and I was doing lots of stuff and videos and meeting people and and I had like really incredible back pain and I remember lying in bed like one week before lockdown and I was thinking like what kind of life is this like I'm, I've got so much pain I'm working all the time I, this can't go on like this that I remember thinking that and then there was lockdown and then I was like okay <laughs> I can work on my body again and I can recover and for me it was just like you refocused yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. like I yeah I, I couldn't have gone on like it was before either. So I think, I hope that all of this is like a big positive change for humanity as well and that we can get out of it better than before. Find calmness again yeah. in silence. <laughs> and realize what's important really, your health and 
your happiness. <laughs> it's a very nice closing <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. You're welcome. Thanks a lot.